And we're back. So, guys, welcome to game number two. We have everyone set up, ready to go. Spectators are good. And we do have actually a side switch here. So, just the average Joe is going to be uh, on red slash purple. Red because of colorblind mode. And we do got the Jackson 5 here on blue. And they're going to get themselves first ban. And we're just going to let them go out of that. But with me, Phantom Lord. What are you, like 2500 ELO yet? I've actually run into a problem with my mouse, and I lost a hundred ELO last night. A hundred ELO? Mm-hmm. A hundred. The, the, the mouse that I use, I've right-clicked it so much, I actually took it apart and looked, that where it's supposed to press down on the uh, to actually register the click, there is literally a arc where I press it down because it's been <laughs> you wore degraded. It off, huh? <laughs> yes, it, I, and I realized that like I was clicking and making commands and it wouldn't go through and I finally was just so frustrated because of that loss of ELO that I was just like, uh, yeah, there's something wrong. So I got a new mouse on the way. I am unfortunately <laughs> 2200, but uh, I'll get it back. No worries. I believe in you, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? So, Someone here in chat <laughs> says you need to overclock that mouse. <laughs> 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 How is that possible? What do you what do you do? We there's an add on here uh for that they said you can overclock your mouse. It's like, oh <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> but there you go, apparently with Fatality you can overclock your mouse. So That's um, so cool. That's awesome, you know. I have always wanted to overclock my mouse. But now get yourself a new mouse, get back up in those ranks, dude. And you know, maybe you could even get yourself a fatality mouse, because we're giving away a whole bunch of stuff. Might as well throw in a mouse with it, right? Yikes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, as I did say before, you know, Facebook.com Sound Blaster Gaming. We just saw one of the Sound Blaster cards here at Fatality, and they're having a sweepstakes. So, guys, if you want, you know, free stuff, just go over there, like the page, and do whatever it says, and bam, you could instantly win yourself a mouse. It's We're good like that, and then all weekend, we're giving away tons of stuff. We're giving away motherboards. We're giving away sound cards. We're giving away the headsets. I can never remember that fourth one. Is it RAM? No, it's a power supply. That's what it is. OCZ power supply. It's hot, man. Hot. So much stuff to give yeah, away. Yeah, a lot of great stuff. I mean, <laughs> as I've said before several times, it's amazing how much they are really uh, giving away to the viewers. They really do appreciate you guys tuning into the stream, having fun with us, enjoying these matches. And uh, you guys get to get some free stuff as well. So let's hot. dive into now the picks and bands which are going out. <laughs> I do. I like the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf. <laughs> Olaf. Yep. Get out of here. They don't want that. I do believe that uh, they have switched sides. Yes, they have. Average Joe's is now on purple, and we do have the Jackson Five on the blue side. So, looking at Jackson Five's first ban. Yes, they are banning out that Olaf because they don't want to deal with that twelve-three Olaf from last game. We do have them taking Jana as their first pick. Not gonna let the average goes get that Jana Cor uh, Ergot that they had last game, so they might be going a Jana Corky because Halo did do a pretty good job on Corky. Um, of course, the bottom lane doesn't really have that much control over the game. Uh, they just pretty much sit there and farm. It looks like no, we're gonna have an Ezreal instead, possibly. Looking at the purple side for the average Joe's first picks, we do have a Lee Sin and the Tark support. That is standard, you will always see in these tournament matches the jungler and the support being picked because they do not want to give away those important lanes. They don't want to give away the AD pick, the uh, top lane, or the solo mid pick because those lanes can get countered and then basically locked out of the game. You don't want to have your jungler be able to babysit that lane for the rest of the game and have those other lanes never get any assistance. So follow the two picks from the purple side we do have a Mao Kai and uh, of course the Ezreal for the Janna so we are gonna have a a Janna Ezreal bottom versus a Tarek and Kogma interesting Tarek um, is a pretty decent pick against uh, uh, Janna's and uh, Mao Kai's because he does have that stun to uh, deny the player from using their spells for the next couple of seconds but uh, we do have a Shivana being picked for purple side for the average Joes. That Shivana might be top lane, believe it or not. Um, we have seen that before in the past. It is not too uncommon. Shivana does 
really well in the in the lane as well as in the jungle. Then following through with the next picks on the blue side, we do have. Is that going to be a Trogath? Are we going to see for the first time Trogath being? I know I've seen we've seen it once before. Trogath, not really that popular of a pick, but still a really uh, versatile and useful champion. Of course, he does have his skill shot stomp. So if he does not land that efficiently, he won't be able to output uh, as much as he would want to if he did land it. Going top lane versus what looks like it will be Lee Sin. So they baited that Lee Sin pick at the initial start um, and instead chose to have the Shivana jungle. So Lee Sin versus the Cho'Gath. Uh, that Lee Sin most likely will win the lane because Cho does not do too well against Lee Sin, especially with uh, Zion on Lee running Ignite. So he's going to be going for a kill lane. He's going to want to take down that Cho'Gath. That Cho'Gath most likely will be zoned and will have to play passively. He does have teleport, so he'll be able to support his team with the uh, initial dragon fights at around the seven minute pass mark. And they do have a Morgana mid lane for the Jackson 5. Morgana, of course, getting the typical flash ignite. And uh, going up against. Is that AA Peacock? What is this? They have two ADs. They have a Kogma and a Corky. So we. Oh, we might see some interesting swaps being done here. I mean, we could even see a Lee Sin going mid. We could see a Tarek. Kogma going top. That that could be Tarek? It's all about Tarek. Oh, well, Spelzy's known to be a support player. He's I not know, I'm trolling anywhere. you, don't worry. <laughs> Why are you trolling me, bro? You're um, breaking my, my flow. It's likely going to be Kogma in that regard. Captain Korea was their mid last time. So, yeah, it's probably going to be an AP Kog. AP Cog. AP Cog, oh. Most people do not know how to deal with an AP Cog because they don't know where his damage comes from. Is it from his Q? No. Is it from his W? No. It's actually from his slime pool. That uh, It just does so much damage. It's like a slow skill shot, but uh, if the enemy player gets stuck on it and Kogma does follow through with his Q, W, and then ulting, he can deal enough damage to do a... Uh, a takedown basically in a couple of seconds but his slime pull is so strong that's usually what they level up first he does he, uh, have cleanse to roll against the Maokai which is most likely going to be ganking mid lane and top really early Maokai with a uh, strong ganking uh, utility kit uh, he does usually start at the wolves or at the race I'm sorry with his little uh, mini trees that he throws up the trance and then rushes to blue rushes to either a count on journal or a early gank. So we should see some pretty good ganks coming out from him. Shivana, on the other hand, on purple side, Average Joes will be farming the jungle quite a bit and trying to go for six. Uh, we may see some early ganks, but it is not too common. Of course, she really needs that red to be able to get a successful gank off, or else the enemy player will just flash away and be the safety. Um, mm. So, pretty interesting team, team comps here. I think uh, AP Cog is an actual viable pick. Uh, some people can argue against that, but we do have all the players from Purple Five uh, really have an aggressive comp. Uh, the Tarek and Corky bottom lane will do pretty well against the Jana Ezreal. Jana Ezreal do have all of that utility to get away. Of course, Jana has her tornado. Uh, both of the players have flash, and Ezreal has his little jump around, so he will be able to uh, uh, have that free flash to get away from any sort of uh, danger that goes on bottom lane. So I'm going to be really worried against this Cho'Gath. I think he's going to be locked down. And the Morgana's going to be just farming the lane mid, so she really can't be ganked that much. I think most of the attention will be top lane. Here we will see in just a moment. Indeed, we're going to get this game rolling. Game number two here of the Qualifier 4 Finals. Right now we are up 1-0 here for our purple team for just the average Joes up against the Jackson 5. So, you know, you got to put your best foot forward here, folks, if you want to have a chance at winning that first place, getting it to the grand finals that will be starting out tomorrow, and, of course, snagging yourself five pretty awesome sound cards. That's really the only way to put it. They're just pretty awesome. So, again, qualifier number four, finals, game number two. Phantom Lord and Forkord Jester here, and I see people there in the chat saying, you know, hey, you can go over to... Ah, that's the wrong button. There we go. 
you can go over to the Sound Blaster Gaming Facebook page. You can uh, hit up their sweepstakes. You can win headsets. And again, tomorrow and Sunday, you watch us. You answer all the trivia or you just say something correctly. Random winners. We're giving away a ton of prizes tomorrow thanks to our sponsors. OCZ, AS Rock, Sound Blaster, and of course, Fatality. So, who are we waiting on? Captain Korea. Come on, whip, whip. Let's get you going. I've never seen that Cho'Gath skin before. He's a giant you skeleton. Haven't? No. It's pretty freaky. I think it's his best skin. He's a giant skeleton. He's a giant... Aw, but he's so cute. Is he like the predator? Wait, or the alien? Kind of has like an alien head blade. I, I think it's just like a museum skin because, you know, Ezreal, you belong in a museum. So... <laughs> <laughs> just could be. Okay. It just works with that. <laughs> All it's right. Perfect synergy between the two champions. Jurassic Park coming but out here in the chat. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so our red team up 1-0. Just the average Joe is going again for a little bit of an invade. And as you can see in the items, you know, pop, 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 lots of health pots. But a little bit more defensive again for Jackson 5 on blue who need to win this game. Otherwise, it's going to be a quick 2-0 sweep, and just the average Joes will have their chance of a lifetime to play up against the pros. And again, they're doing exactly the same as they did last round, going straight for those golems, going to come up and probably hit this red. Yep, they're going to be most likely starting a fight here. They're walking really close, and we'll see who gets targeted first. They run <laughs> right into the middle. Oh my goodness, all this damage is going to come out. But nothing. No kill. Oh, oh we might have the revenge on the Zion Spartan. No. Okay, he's all right. 60 health. Cool. Uh, oh. So as soon as they went into that, all I saw was Ezreal pop cleanse and run the heck away. That's all I saw there. So I really yeah. think they had a good opportunity to score a first blood, but you saw this around coming out. Like They came up from here, and they came up from here to pincer the bush, where somehow they figured out that's where they were. And unfortunately, no kills coming out of it. And but we have popped now the cleanse, and I th thought we saw a flash go down as well. Did we see a flash? We saw the ignite from Corky, the flash ignite from Zion Spartan. Oh dear! Mm -hmm. And all we popped here was uh. Oh well, okay. I guess Morgana used hers as well as the cleanse from Ezreal. So no kills. It's all right. My voice is gonna not crack like that anymore. And instead, we're just gonna start up normal jungle stuff. Yep, we have uh, both the junglers getting a normal leash. Uh, Shivana will finish hers first over Maokai, so what? Shivana will have what? a little advantage to go. No, no, Cho'Gath is yep. bottom, mm -hmm. and Ezreal is top. This could not have been a good idea, because <laughs> we're about to have first blood. Or are we? Don't oh, 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 that Cho'Gath getting that good ground pound. As you said, if he can get that tower. off, it's going to change things. But yeah. He's going to be denied so hard. What is Janet doing? Uh, maybe so under farm. She just warded right there. This is really She's interesting. She's roaming. We stole the red, or we're stealing the red. Shyvana had to go back to town. Cho'Gath is going to get zoned pretty mercilessly here, but that's just that's going to be okay. He'll get the experience. He just won't get the farm. And look at this Lee Sin. This is how, I guess, they want to deal with Lee Sin. They want to put a nice ranged uh, champion with an escape and in fact just switch around the lane. So they don't care about their Cho'Gath losing, they just don't want this, this Lee Sin winning, I guess. Well, both uh, Lee Sin and Cho'Gath are going to be pretty zoned, but uh, I think Lee Sin will have a little bit of an advantage because he does have the ability to jump around, um, and he is rolling boots oh. and uh, three pots, but here we have him turning around onto this Ezreal. Ezreal getting exhausted, being forced <laughs> to burn his flash, and of course he does not have cleanse anymore, so... Excellent uh, tornado. Ho okay, all right, and uh, you know, Janna, she's going to pop her heal. She's not going to go down. Zion Spartan is going to have to safeguard over to that Shyvana, so I'm still impressed that no kills have gone down as of yet, but we are going to go with for the kill! Just as I say, you know, that just has to happen. Morgana <laughs> up here as well. She threw down that binding, came up a little short, but the flash into the twist. Is it the twist? Yeah, twisted advance, arcane smash, good Bottom. times. Going to get them. Oh, well, uh, I'm not expecting good things out of Cho'Gath. <laughs> Cho'Gath just under the tower, taking so much poke yep. from that Corky and Tark. Of course, uh, all good ADs are able to get that auto attack off and then back out before... The tower gets Whoa. a shot off. 
Ezreal sinking into three tower hits right there. Lee Sin's going to be co trying to come here for the kill. No, he's going to find Ezreal <laughs> with the blind, and now he's going to go for the double. Oh, my goodness. What a turnaround up there. And now look at this down here. Oh, now we got to throw down that ward, and now <laughs> Joe Guy's going to get blown up yet again. And oh my goodness, 3 1 right now. Just the average Joe's coming back out of that uh, first blood giveaway pretty, pretty handily. This middle lane's been the boringest lane ever, though. <laughs> I'm not too used to that at top lane. I know there is action early on, but this is just ridiculous. Oh, that. Yes, uh, Zion is pretty frustrated that he did lose that <laughs> first blood, so as revenge, he did get those two kills. The uh, Ezreal and Janna, not a good decision to be in those bushes with uh, such a low HP. They didn't notice that the uh, Lee Sin did indeed uh, revive back from death and was running back to the lane. So if they had a little bit of a better mental timer on uh, where Lee Sin uh, was as far as coming back to the lane, they wouldn't have died there and they, they should have kept running. So, just to keep in mind, we have an AP Kogma mid. At least I'm assuming it's AP. Uh, is that a dead mm -hmm. Cho'Gath? No, okay, he's all right. Uh, we do have a uh, Maokai gank coming in down here on top of Spellsy, but we throw down all that damage. It doesn't matter. Maokai just gets destroyed by Corky. Now, we don't exactly have the mana here for Spellsy, so we should not have a kill on top of Cho'Gath unless we throw down that exhaust, but he does retaliate a little bit with that knock-up silence. But, you know, if you go in for a gank and you just get melted, I'm not too sure Jackson 5 actually has the winning strategy, at least in this early game. Because they've they've swapped it up, they're not playing typical, they're trying to keep down top, but they're losing bottom pretty handily. And now it's 4-1 with close to a 1.5, yeah exactly, 1.5k difference again. We've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Look at that CS by Chorgath. 8 get, CS. I was going to say, is it single digits? It is single digits. <laughs> 8 CS to 42. Four. And that Corky has the red buff. Corky has oh the red from Maokai. He has a lot of cash under his belt. Let me check. 1,800. He could go back and pick up a, a BF sword right now. <laughs> at six minutes in. Wow. Now Chogat. Oh, now they're <laughs> finally <laughs> putting Chogat at top. That might be a bad decision. He can get obliterated by Lee Sin. Uh, he doesn't have much minions there to uh, get his passive on. What is this Ezreal and Janna doing? Wandering. They have Wanderlust. He's an explorer, you know? It's really explorer. <laughs> Who needs a map? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this mid lane, you know, Morgana and Cho, I kind of expected, uh, not Cho, sorry, Cog, as I'm going to watch this Cho'Gath just trying to get destroyed. Oh my goodness, Dragon Kick coming out as well with another Hadoken into a kick, but that's not going to be enough. Now, Zion Spartan can probably 2v1 at this point, as we see uh, Cho'Gath trying to dodge it, but unfortunately not. He just gets smacked in the face again. Here goes the twist into the arcane. Can Victorious pick up the revenge kill? We do got Morgana coming up there. She throws down the goo in some... Awkward location, as you can see Spartan trying to dodge a little bit. Yes, he gets the safeguard off, but the ultimate for Morgana will be enough. Such skill coming out of these least in. Now, while this is going on, we do have a dragon being awarded here to just the average Joes, and that's just going to put them up 2k now. Yeah, this game uh, not really going the best for Jackson 5 as far as the format. Uh, this Morgana did a good job by coming top to help support her lanes. Of course, she doesn't really have that much going on because it's mostly a farm lane with a Morgana versus an AB Cog. But uh, strangely enough, this Cogma is pushing the lane a lot harder. Uh, of course, Morgana did go top, so she did lose that time to mm -hmm. push the lane instead. Help get that kill onto Lee Sin. Lee Sin did a wonderful job getting that kill on Shogath. He made a mistake. Shogath made a mistake by staying there trying to uh, you know, do some uh, damage and get some help in for the Maokai, but instead he got that cube uh, hit on him and then fell to his death. So he should have backed out. Now we're going to see a lot of aggression coming top. Half Look at that. Health. Lee Sin <laughs> just getting a little bit of uh, aggression, and he takes Cho to half HP. That's He's just going to ha be having one of the worst games because uh, he can't do anything at this point. He's at 15 CS. Mm -hmm. To 37 top lane, but Lee Sin has three kills. Yeah, he has a vamp scepter, so he's gonna have more sustain than Cho'Gath. And I don't know if, if hopefully the Maokai can just camp top lane. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, and down south, our Ezra, as soon as he got into lane, we did see people jumping on top of him. He's okay now, we got him to the intensive care unit, he's alright, but it's not looking good. He's down in the creep kills, 53 to 72, this bottom lane, and two kills up for Corky as well. Again, this mid has kind of been, quote, our normal, uh, if you want to call AP Cog normal, but here we go, Zion throws down the ward, misses the Hadoken after the safeguard, and... Oh, it does look like we actually got a little bit of revenge down here. Spellsy caught out with the gank here from Maokai. I was too focused on Zion Spartan. I kind of expected uh, a kill there. But, you know, with he not top, this might be the chance for Cho'Gath to catch back up. This is true. We had an excellent play by the Ezreal uh, bottom lane. He actually took a few hits. Oh, we're going to have Lee Sin walk into the bush here onto... Uh, Maokai, he did pop an early ignite, so he's committing to that. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not going to be. He really wanted to get that Oracle, and Maokai's just going to back in the bush. Ezra walking really close, just wants to take a look at Lee Sin, I guess, but not kill him. And uh, he's going to force Lee Sin away. But no, this Ezra made a really good play bottom by uh, sort of getting baited, uh, baiting the Corky and the Tarek. Uh, Zion is just not giving up here. He's just jumping around and Doing so much damage. Uh, oh, the Corky flash. The flash! But so does Ezreal. And oh my goodness, the Jana flashing and ulting! Look at this! Damn. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Both players killing each other at the same time. Both of those bullets, that bullet and that uh, little pulse of energy flying by each other, saying hello, and then both players died. Now Maokai is going to come in here with the ultimate. He's going to be targeting again down the Zion Spartan who is still playing ping pong with his teammates. But Spellsy is here. He's going to throw down that heal and you can see Victorious just dropping with the hit points. Is it going to be enough to take out the Zion Spartan? No, we have now lost that Oracles and Zion Spartan still alive. Just that's all that health regeneration with oh! the Ezreal ultimate 11 hit points. He safeguards immediately and here comes the Morgana. Morgana is going to come try to come in here with the ultimate. Zion is going to have to just get on out but he cannot go back to the tower actually he can because the tower is gone instead he's just gonna jump in here spells he will drop captain korea is gonna be here trying to take out wilson is cool is he gonna be able to grab it with the artillery yes he is i do not know how zion spartan is still alive but now ezreal is gonna have to run for his life because he is not gonna win against an ap kogma with infinite artillery <laughs> zion is just not giving up he's just auto attacking everything with that bam scepter and he's uh, living up and oh my goodness, Bam. Corky jumping in here, Ezreal just drops in a few seconds and of course Maokai follows, wow, that word, ca uh, catching both of those, uh, Maokai and Ezreal walking closer into the forest and they're just getting harassed and they can't even really walk anywhere. They, and, they uh, cannot, no. Wow. We've Jackson taken out survived. an oracles as well. <laughs> Yeah, they're falling so far behind now. 6,000 gold behind all of this map control now. They do have wards in their bush. Jackson 5 really needs to group up and try and do something. We do have this Cho'Gath now at level 8 with uh, 47 CS, so he's not doing too bad now. Of course, Zion was bottom lane for half the game, so um, hopefully we can see this. Cho'Gath participate in the game and actually contribute to his team in some uh, soon-to-be team fight that we might see. <laughs> that we might see. I, I still think he's still too far behind. I mean, Shyvana just comes in the lane and you can see him just getting so zoned out again. His items are not exactly where they want to be either, at least compared to this Leedson, who has himself a BF sword. Went for the D Ninja Tabby, BF sword. And now they're going to go in for the kill on top of this Janna. We got the ultimate coming up from Spellsy as well. The, you can see the on the map, that's pretty cool. The Ezreal ultimate going around, it won't matter. He's Trost. And that's another double kill for Zion Spartan. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> More guy. <laughs> <laughs> Zion just having the game of his life right now. 8-2, to two, as you said, with that BS sword. He's doing so much damage, having the luxury of roaming around wherever he wants to. And uh, I think he might actually have an overclocked mouse, Chester. Yeah, that's, I, I think he might as well. Must have some fatality gaming gear. Uh, we'll have to do an interview with him afterwards or something to, to find out. But didn't we see this kind of behavior with uh, ordinance gaming as well? 
Well, we didn't see the lane swapping. No, we but we saw see, a uh, pretty awesome Lee Sin as well. Yes, we did Lee Sin. I think it's that that Void Boy game in uh, in Hanover just really inspiring a lot of players, and that's what you'll see. You'll see uh, the meta sort of follow mm -hmm. what players do mm -hmm. and pick in those tournament matchups, and uh, Lee Sin just yeah being picked for top constantly. I see it all the time in Silly Q. He's not really that much of a jungler. Um, as much as he is a top laner. Sort of even, I guess you could say, but a really strong pick. And uh, I wonder if, you know, Aurelia is going to get nerfed because of this. Is there, yeah, I mean, yeah, better watch out. Really is going to get nerfed. Yeah, for sure. Bloodthirster coming out for Lee Sin. Black Cleaver for Corky. Uh, Tarek has picked up his own Oracles. And a Rod of Ages for our Kogma. Going a little bit more defensive with the Rod of Ages, but say la vie. He still has himself a Tear of the Goddess, which he's slowly maxing out, but 93 ability power. He's kind of been quiet for Arcogma. He's 201, but he doesn't really leave the mid lane too much, but when he does, he gets the kills, and that's the important part. You can see a little bit of a dance going up, one bad Brad and victorious, and nothing is going to happen. We're just going to heal up. We're wandering around. We have an Ezreal ultimate going off. Yeah, that Ez alt was trying to snipe Dragon, and it almost did. Uh, Tarek being uh, pretty crazy, walking into the enemy forest there with his Oracle, trying to clear out wards. And yeah, we've seen this Kog'Maw play really passive, but he does have the most CS in the game as a result. Morgana now getting po uh, caught, and uh, look at all of that damage Damn. from Kog'Maw. Easy. Taking down Morgana without much problem at all. Spellsy, though, getting really close. Almost like he's baiting. Well, Lee Sin did safeguard him in. That will do a good amount. But here goes the flash. Maokai into the twist. No smash. But Shyvana throwing out her ultimate as well. Captain Korea is going to be taking down our tree. But Cho'Gath is actually going to be picking up a kill. Maybe even two. But he has to play footsies with this uh, artillery cannon right here. Captain Korea is just going to be chasing him on out. Zion Spartan is going to meet him. Kick him in the face and call it a day. Or maybe he's going to go for this Janna. He's a few kills up. Now Ezreal is successfully getting into town, but you see the safeguard into the Doki, he did miss it, now throwing down the ignite, we did this force out the flash here from natural PT, but that is going to be putting down Zion into the ground, Wilson is cools back up, and he's going to have to try to defend this tower, it's uh, not going to work up against a Corky with a black cleaver, no, nope, there he goes, he just, <laughs> that big bird of missile, oh my goodness, he still gets the kill, the Ezreal is going to be flying off into the middle of nowhere, and... <laughs> Oh my goodness, 17, se 7 to 19, we have two dragons to uh, the ju the just the average Joe's name, we have 11,000 gold difference and we can't even surrender. Yeah, this is this is definitely a, uh, a mirror of um, solo queue game, just constant action, it's almost like it's a dominion as well, there's so many <laughs> fights going off, we have two wonderful wards being placed in the mid lane for at least in a jump to. And Shogoth getting a kill and probably going to get that tower here too. He is finally in the game, contributing to his team. And uh, as we saw, Kogma doing so much damage. 5 0 2, he has absolutely no uh, worry against him. He doesn't have to worry about Shogoth running through or Morgana or even Maokai running through to attack him. He's just going to sit back. He's just going to shoot his uh, little goo up into the sky and. He's going to free roam around and do whatever he wants. That's essentially the tone of this game right now. Just the average Joes can do basically whatever they want. I mean, they're so far ahead. They're not even interested in Baron. We're going to get this top tower from one bad Brad, you know, Shyvana. We haven't really seen too much with Shyvana. She throws out her dragon form, then she kind of runs away. Seems to be the, the tone of all the team fights, but she is rocking herself. Uh, the, the attack speed. So she has the wriggle, she has the wits end. She did go a little bit more defensive with the mercury treads, which is probably a good idea because you don't want to ever get eaten by that Shogat. But here we go, we're going to be jumping in. Wilson is cool, is going to be dropping down. Zion Spartan is still living in here, but Victoria is going to drop as well. Spartan is still alive with the exhaust. Oh my goodness. Tarek is going to pick up that kill on top of Shogat, and we are not going to take a single kill from just the average Joe. As we do see one bad Brad going in for Hilo. It's going to be Captain Korea with that artillery. And that would have been an ace had Jenna not run with the tail between her legs. But she is, she is alive. We're going to lose another tower. 
23 to 7 with a 15,000 gold lead. Yeah, wow. I Zion is he's healing for like 80 in auto attack. So that Maokai just couldn't do enough damage. And are we gonna see Jana fall down? Oh, it's really close. No. Oh, the Kogmas! Yes, and she, he does finally catch the Jana. Check out Spellsy. And, uh, that was. <laughs> Technically an ace, yeah. Oh my goodness, and the Shivana too. Morgana just gets blown up with so much damage. Elisin and uh, Kogma just happily thrown out their poke damage. Yeah, he has blue buff. Unfortunately, unable to do anything. Yeah, that's that's what they want on that AP card. Sit around and throw all the spells out, and he's just doing so much <laughs> damage. Zion Spartan. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Such range with these wards, man. Such range. No. Oh hurt. my god. <laughs> okay. He's going three on one. He, he just turns around and starts auto attacking the minions for HP. Is he gonna get away? Oh, the Ezreal ult and Cho'Goth go, ult go off oh, in nom, synergy. Nom, 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 nom. But unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Jonna barely. Is she gonna survive this? Oh, nope. Captain she Korea gets survived legendary. Yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Falling down to that Kogma ult. We're 20 minutes and in. getting binded on top of the tower <laughs> and falls. Is Ezreal going to be able to clean up here? Spellsy and Captain Korea so low. Good heal. <laughs> Good heal. He's still running Spells. for it. Oh. Shyvana picks up that one. No problem, bro. She got your back. But yeah, we're past the 20 minute mark. It's 30. To nine with something close to 20,000 gold difference. As soon as we pick up this tower, it should ding about 20,000 gold difference. And, you know, Lee Sin, there's something to say about uh, picking up five wards and just having fun with them, isn't there? <laughs> he just, like, he's thrown oh, down man. so many wards this game, more than the support. <laughs> Look at his items now. Yeah, I saw him. Double Bloodthirster. Yeah, I saw him. GG well played, that means just the average Joes are going to be having an invite tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, to face off against one of the top NA Pro teams in the Fatality Grand Finals. They've also secured themselves five Sound Blaster sound cards, as well as, uh, I gotta say, some pretty good bragging rights out of that. Taking out the team that took out V8 Esports, uh, yeah, I'll take that any day. Uh, our second place team, of course, is going to be uh, Jackson 5, and Jackson they have five. won themselves five headsets. Yeah, great job to those guys for beating V8 Esports. They uh, uh, probably uh, stuck it together and really gave it as much effort as they could. And sometimes you will see in these tournaments, uh, because there are a few games, even in uh, Go for Lol, for example, they just play so many games, and they might have been playing a lot and practicing this morning. And uh, they could have possibly gotten burned out in this final match. Who knows? But either way, they did a great job. They took out one of the uh, well-known teams, V8, and uh, made it in to gain some prizes. So great job to them. Indeed. So five Mark II Fatality headsets. That's, that's pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind one of those myself. But